but we're gonna talk. I kind of regret saving him from that walker. <laughs> uh, what did he ask me to do? Come up from the middle or something? Ooh. Oh, I think I think she heard me. She's gone. What the? Nice. Ooh. Don't hit her. Oh my god! Don't! Yeah, it's definitely a girl. Well, she's wearing a mask. Lee? Well, what are you doing here? Hi. You're not from Crawford. Crawford? Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Mind if I get up? Slowly. Hi? Kenny? Kenny, don't! Nice. Well done. <laughs> you fucking no, dumbass, Kenny. What's happening? Who the hell are you people? Um, Everyone just calm down. I'll calm down once she tells me who the fuck she is. Back off, asshole. The name's Molly. Molly, I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Clem, you go up you grow up to be strong like this girl. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What the hell's Crawford? I don't even know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. Oh. What the hell happened here? You sure you wanna know? Information is power. When everything yes. started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Oh. Did they eat what them? No children. Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically no one who might be a burden on the community. Oh. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. That's, That's not how not we do how it. Our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave. Along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, hold their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. I mean, obviously she's been here around... She's been around a while. I would assume. Who's been ringing the bells? Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. Why? I knew it. Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us. Fucking with us. Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight <laughs> up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. 
Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Well, we were looking for a boat. <laughs> Came down here looking for a boat, hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that that makes behind, sense. Crawford stripped him for parts. Cars Obviously. Too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? <sighs> Kenny's really not Shit. the brightest. <laughs> Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Oh, they're back. Great. Just great. Can we follow her? Isn't that the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way Yeah, whose house? fault is that, well, Kenny? Is there a... Oh, run, follow her. Nice. You just gonna let her go? Hey, you can't just leave us here. Really? Watch. No, please, please don't leave us. Big puppy eyes, Clementine. <laughs> Come on, make it fast. Well, they should be fine up there. Well, we should be fine. Come on, come on, hurry! Yeah, nobody wants to fuck you, Kenny. Come on. Me, come on! Come on, man. One good jump. Oh, Kenny. No, me! Uh. Hurry! Actually, why did we do this before? <laughs> Oops. Somewhere else? Come on, Lee! Get your ass out of there! Oh. God, can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. Oh, uh, don't lose it. This thing will be worth its weight in gold during an apocalypse. Ooh, <laughs> that was close. Oh, Clem! Be safe. Hi. Ooh. Good job. Actually, I'm surprised it's only one. There should be tons of them Clementine, like, falling can you hear down. Me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. So Kenny royally screwed us because of the gunshot. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. Something about Kenny. He's too emotional and not in a good way. He's always thinking... Uh, what's the word? Like Sparky, like he just does it. He doesn't think about the consequences, kind of thing. And I like the term that she used when she said geeks. Um, there's this comic that I've read before. It's a really dark comic. Uh, some of you who might know about it sh might have heard about it. It's called Crossed, and it has a very similar principle. But instead of zombies, it's um, an infection that makes you insanely violent like murder rape no self-preservation at all and in one of these uh side stories the carnival folk are called geeks so yeah if you have read it before then you are as twisted as i am if you have not read it before 
don't go looking for it. <laughs> it is really dark shit. Like, really bad. And I am fucked up in the head, so, yeah. Built solid. No way I can pry that open. Ah, uh, obviously. I mean, is there anything inside that... Ooh, wow. That's cool. There's a tire here. I'm definitely... This is definitely slippery. I, I should have slid all the way down. Yep, there you go. In fact, to make sure you don't break your coccyx, it would have been better to just slide down anyway. I'm really nitpicky, aren't I? <laughs> oh. Dead rat. Sewer rat. Walkers must be down here too. Is it walkers or is it people? I'm honestly more worried if it were people. I can hear walkers. Yep, yeah, I definitely hear walk walkers. Where are they coming from? It's a drainage pipe. So I need to get the wheel. Wheel? Handle? Turn bar? What, what is it? Ho ho! <laughs> Lee just noped right out of there. Could be the way out. There's no way I could take on all of those things by myself. So what should I... Wait, there's something here. Yep, here. Go, Lee. I could take that, can't I? Is there anything here? Locked. Wait a minute, where's my tool? Okay. What does that do? Ooh. Won't turn anymore in that direction. All right. So it is open. Then the walkers will be attracted to the sound. Uh huh. Not here, and not in there. Seems loose. Oh. Shit. So I turn it once more. I pull it out. Then I can go come over here. Now there's this fucker over here. If I go for forward, it will see me. I think what I want to do is maybe... I want to... Can I... Can I do this? No. Hmm. I mean, can't you just... Try bar its head. All right. So what happens if I... Oh, okay, that's it. Oh, it doesn't see me. I thought it was facing here though. And turn it this way? What does that do? So they're all gonna come here now. Oh, yep, here they come. Here they come. <gasps> oh no! Fuck, that was Chuck! Oh no! Oh, I saw it. Just like a brief glimpse. 
Are they coming in through here? Oh no, cha. Damn, I thought he'd survive. Oh shit me. Yeah, there he is. Oh, Chuck. Oh my god. Chuck. <sighs> Must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. Must have saved the last one for himself. No. You deserve better, old man. Yeah. You're really good. God damn it. Oh, that's annoying. I was hoping he'd at least survive. Is there any way to save- <gasps> Is there any way to save Chuck? I wonder. How did it grab me? Oh, damn it! Oh shit, sorry. Um, this one. Q? Oh my god, she's coming! <laughs> Come on! Alright. And then here. Nice. Did it hear? Oh. Alright. Because, you know, no gunshot. Rest in peace, Chuck. You were amazing. You saved Clementine. So I'm gonna head up that door. Anything here? No. What's this? Ladder. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. Where? Oh. I could hook onto it, I suppose. these bars with this yeah i mean that that's fair i'm not superman so i have two options i could try and latch onto that using the the pickaxe or try this Shit, oh broke off okay can i pick that up <laughs> i already tried that it ain't gonna budge all right If she can do it, I can do it too. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Uh. Holy. Secret entrance? To where? Oh. Damn it. I was hoping he would have his happily ever after. Fallout shelter? Adjacent to the sewers? To those old nuclear fallout shelters. Holy shit, that's a lot of resources. Oh. Wait, how the hell did I get in? The hole's gone. It's a bunk. Wonder if someone's living down here. I I mean you can if the if it looks like it's used, yeah. Look at all this. It's enough to keep Wow. Oh shit. Is this the Crawford storehouse I just broke into? Can I take some? Can I have some? I mean, it couldn't hurt, right? Maybe no one's using it. If you see... Oh, hi! Oops. <laughs> hi. Uh, my name's Lee. Uh... It's alright. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where Will else you really? Are you from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. You Athens? There? Greece? How was it? As bad as here. I'm sorry. He's half you Greek? Can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. Interesting. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? 
Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, how, or I swear I'll How shoot. can you tell? What? Grab the gun? It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? He's not Vernon. a killer. Don't judge him. Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. Don't take their gun. Give it back. <laughs> You're really not from Crawford? No. no. I'm really not. Well, we are. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so that perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet oh. here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. It already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah, it looks like a morgue. I was about to say. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list <laughs> when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? Walkers. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system <laughs> I don't know why. runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. I don't know why. Every time he says I'm honest, it makes me very happy. <laughs> Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Your doctor. Why we help you? I, I. That's fair. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people, back to Clementine. She's your daughter. Uh. Uh. Yes, you could say that. Yeah. She's probably already wondering where I am. Well, we can't have that, can we? Er, what the hell are you doing? It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone Oh no, else. have I have I killed what someone here? unintentionally? Oh, I'll be back before you know it. Let's go see about your daughter. I I I'm not lying. I technically I consider her my daughter, so <laughs> Yeah. If you're talking about literally like blood daughter, maybe not. Oh, I was gonna say something just now, but then they were talking. Then I forgot about it. I, I, I was saying, I like how they something. Clementine, Clem. Ben, I'm gonna fuck you up. You're supposed to keep Clem um, here. You know. Molly. Hi. Oh, hey, you made it back. I should really give her the pickaxe back. He didn't tell you about me. I'm the one who saved his ass back at the river. Who's the fossil? Um. This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. She asked the question. You have to answer. I think you have something that belongs to me. Yes, you can have it back. It's all yours. Is he giving her the stink eye? Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's up? What's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. Oh, dear. Oh, the doctor's with us. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. Don't tell him. Ask him. Ask nicely. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him.
How how is he? Did it did he get infected? Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. Technically, all right. Let's take a look at him. Not true. <laughs> I work better without an audience. Now, why don't you go find your little girl? Yes, I will. I, I he doesn't really have resources. I don't know what he Clementine. can do. Clementine, Ben, your second chance is up. But you were supposed to watch her, dude. Oh ho! You in here? That's a nice study. Oh, me likey. Clementine? I don't think she's in there, but we could look for stuff. I'll have time to rest later. All right. Yeah, find Clementine first then. Well, she was here, apparently. Clem, you in here? Why would she be in there? That doesn't make sense, Lee. Clem's drawings. No. Where is she? Well, the, the thing is, if you saw Clementine come back with Molly, obviously she's still somewhere here, right? Clementine, you here? You're making it sound really like she disappeared, vanished. Clem? This is a bathroom. Ain't got time for that. She should be fine. Why are you so worried? Hello? Like maybe she doesn't want to talk to you. Oh. Hi Molly. What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? That's fair. Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Fair enough. I mean, Molly already did us a huge favor. Clementine? She's not there. <laughs> I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. Well, I mean... No sign of her in here. Fine. You said you searched the place, but these boxes are still sealed. How do you know there's no goodies in there? Mm, Lee? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Walker suddenly just jumps at me. Maybe she's in the garden. Don't see her out there. Doghouse? Treehouse? Clem? Clementine? I'm pretty sure she didn't. Clementine! Leave the Come house. Out, please! Oh, it really was a closet. <laughs> Doesn't look like she's in here. Maybe like a coat, uh, whatchamacallit, coat room? I'm pretty sure coat rooms should be bigger. Kenny? Well, he got the whiskey. Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. Oh, he's drunk. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Up your Found butt. Found it. <laughs> you want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Uh, Kenny, come on, give me that. Kenny, give me the damn bottle. Get the fuck away from me. Getting wasted's not going to help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked. Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us. That crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Oh yeah, and Chuck's dead, by the way. <laughs> Just thought I'd let you all know. If you want to drink, Ben, go ahead, because I'm going to rip you a new have asshole. Have you seen Clementine? 
Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? That's Take her not with good you. enough. Whatever. Don't give me that whatever shit. Just tell me where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard. On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Damn right. Fuck, the music just got really... God damn it, Ben. Okay. We've learned our lesson. Ben Clementine? can't really be trusted. Clementine! Oh god. Did she get kidnapped? Oh, she went looking for her pa Oh no. What the hell happened back here? Clem? Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. Maybe not from here, but... Someone could have jumped this fence. It's definitely not difficult. In fact... Excuse me? The hell is in there? Uh, Clem! You scared the shit out of me. Oh, baby girl. What were you doing in there? Exploring? And look! Look what I found! Oh, thank God she's alright. God, for a second there, I thought she was going to be kidnapped. <laughs> what is it? Tractor? Oh, it's a boat! Oh, Kenny's going to be happy. Good job. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, he looks happier now. Yeah, I wish you didn't drink, huh? Now you're gonna have to wait to sober up before you work on the boat. But it looks like a speeder, so it's going to be a little small. And you're going to need fuel. Ah, well. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? This, uh, fair enough. <laughs> and she's really capable. Will? You want the good news or the bad news? Mm, bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. That seems easily so fixable. That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Hmm. <sighs> We should go back out on the street. No, I don't want to deal with Crawford. That's not going to work. Crawford took everything and brought it inside their walls. They siphoned every gas tank, stripped every battery. There's nothing left out there. You saw that for yourselves. She's right. Well, Yet. what about this Crawford place? Sounds like they'd have everything we need. Uh, we should try there. Not good. Now, hold on a minute. Surely we have to try. If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Really? Trust, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. 
And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. That's putting it mildly. We negotiate with them like civilized people. We must have something they'd be interested in taking in trade. Negotiate? With Crawford? Once again, I have to remind you. You have no idea what these people are like. They'll take what they want, and then decide whether or not to let any of you live. So what? No one has any ideas? There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. Oh, I do. So we're gonna steal from this huge band of motherfuckers I who's going to skin us alive? So pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That sounds like okay. a huge That's risk. That's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. But what do you, what do you all get out of it? return for all this help you're giving us? Exactly. Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do Fair this. Enough. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? <sighs> I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Hmm. <laughs> ah, uh, Ben's kind of like in a haze. Stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is Long it enough. Be dangerous? Is what gonna be dangerous? Crawford. Very, very likely. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. It's not something you we can control. Neither do I, Clem, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? <laughs> you said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? That is true. Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Oh god, she's still thinking about Ugh. I don't think I'll find them in Crawford, sweet pea. Why not? Because they're good people. And Crawford is a bad place run by bad people. How do we know they're good I don't people? Think they would have stayed in a place like that. How do you know they're good if you've never met them? That <laughs> that's what I said. <laughs> At least you didn't they? Oh. Well, technically, I raised her for a few months, so. I taught her the word duty. <sighs> Honestly, I think she's safer here. Uh, she's safer with me than staying here. Especially if she's just if it's just her and Omid. Okay, you can come. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time. Uh, okay. Because at least I can keep her safe. And at least I can keep an eye on her. And she could be useful. I just need to be really careful with exposing her to danger. Anyway, I was gonna say, um, yeah, I think the search might be beneficial because, like, for example, we find this boat here in this boathouse and it has batteries and everything is intact and we found it. So it's highly. Check out what I found in the garage. It's not Hatchet, impossible. Hacksaw, some other tools might come in handy on this little break in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? 
So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. That's what I said. Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Pollen. Yep. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Hi. He brought her as well. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Hi, Bree. Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Great. <laughs> Just don't die. And I thought we agreed me and Clem well, are going on our own. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her. It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. She's a grown-up. She's one of us. One of us. One of us. <laughs> oh, God. I really hope I don't regret this, because I can't remember what I chose before. But... It's a huge risk leaving Clementine alone with Omid. Because if, if Omid succumbs, it it, he turns. Right underneath the center of Crawford. And if that should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. Creepy asshole. Stay quiet. We stay hidden. It's not part we of Crawford. He might we kidnap find her. What we need and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And I don't want to uh, let her I'm go through that. Close. It goes double for you. Mm-hmm. You stick to me like glue. Alright. Like super glue. Like a um glue gun. Let's go. Okay, so far so good. <gasps> Hopefully. Where is everybody? Should be guards patrolling. No, oh, no. It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. That's not a guard. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. That's a walker. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody Are got we? It? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right really? You. We're going to. We're gonna kill him? Don't kill him. Unless he's dead. What the fuck? Oh, there you go. <gasps> oh, they're all walkers. All of them? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside! Oh, that's a lot. Oh, so the barricade. They couldn't get in, but they also couldn't get out. And why are there suddenly so many swarming in? <laughs> well, if it's only walkers to worry about, then I'm pretty happy with that Clementine is with us. <laughs> with me. Because honestly, people can, can be worse. Smile, learn. Fuck, fuck. Do you think they saw us? Probably. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. What? Oh, don't be scared. It's all what right. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. Ben, shut up. No, this is good. This is good. I agree. The people are worse. Walker is relatively predictable. Did he just say this is a good thing? Yes. Look at it this way. Before, Shit, I missed the Crawford click. was smart and they had guns. Now they're dumb and they don't. Hey, trying to look on the bright side here. I, I agree. agree. So long as we don't let him box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? 
Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Yes, Ben. Grow a fucking spine. Come on, I think I know what you're doing. <laughs> so angry. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Don't say that. You jinxed it, you fucker. <laughs> uh. Be careful. So they're inside the school as well. Well, maybe everyone should, you know, like weapons ready, coming coming in hot. Just keep moving. Also, a good point. Maybe you should just keep going. Just keep swimming, swim. Here. Bree, Bree, careful. Let let me go first. Get your axe up, axe up. Looks okay. Everybody in. Just from peeking in like that, you should probably, you know, look properly. But will there be supplies? Or did they move to another building? We should be wary because maybe not everyone turned into a walker. Armory <laughs> in the kitty's room. Figures. I'm surprised they didn't remove all these paintings and things. Group C, Group D, B, and A. It's like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Fob. Forward operating base. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Well, we'll need a key for that armory. Unless we kick it down. Here. Where? Motor pool. Oh, that'll be for a battery. And fuel. Medicine? Oh, meat first. Be the best place to look for medicine. Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How does she know How this? You know that? Yeah, exactly. Just it makes sense, doesn't it? No, that's not how it sounded. You s Where can we is she some fuel for the X Crawford? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Hmm. So then we just need a battery. Which will be the Summer motor pool. Yeah. Right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. Herman's. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. That's okay. that's a good point. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Nice. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay I'm very happy with that. Another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. What about Ben? <laughs> Ben's going solo here? What's that look? I, I, I thought she was coming with me. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center. No! Are you in charge of it, okay? <laughs> You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, I like what oh, you did, did okay. there. Mm. Back before you know it. That is true. I trust Clementine to look after Ben more than I trust Ben to look after Clementine. <laughs> Honestly speaking. Uh, all right. Uh, what's this? Shelf. Nothing but crayons and construction paper. That sounds fun. God. Oh. I've been meaning to get back into watercolors. Okay, so, uh, so can I? According to Bree, fuel is at the maintenance shed. Medicine might be at the nurses. So office. where are we now? Battery would probably be Come on, HQ. Through here. Ah, perfect. So we go here. This is where we are now. We need to come out. Armory is here. Library records. This will go to the maintenance shed. 
so I need to... to the auto shop was in the alleyway by this fire escape. So once I go straight, I turn right and then forward again. Right? Okay. The Georgia State flag. A lot of history there. Not that it matters much now, I guess. Ah, well. Hey, dollhouse. Clementine, look at that. Holy shit. That's a big ass dollhouse. Again, surprised that they left that intact. What is that? Yeah. Might come back for these later. Any reading material would be nice once we get on that boat. Wait, I I thought me and Clementine were striking out together. Why are we deciding to take the boat? Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once I'd like to do something useful, you know? I think that's where a lot of his frustrations are useful. coming from. Huh. Yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, uh, I'll let you get on with it. Oh, he didn't reassure him. <laughs> no, I mean... There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. Okay. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. That's a far stretch. The bandits would have come anyway. Um... Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? He Kenny's will skin you alive. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. Yep, no, he he I will skin you alive. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's not who I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Honestly speaking, if you want to tell him, fine. We need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever going to get out of here. So you need to keep this to yourself for the good of everyone. You hear me? But if he I comes after you, you I'm gonna get back to this. Do not expect me to hold him back because I will not be able to. No, no TV. No shirt, no shoes, no service. What's that? Pamphlets. Crawford pamphlets? Oh. Looks like ah. a system here. Crawford's final solution. Initials of person conducting search. Days since outbreak. Number of walkers found. Number of citizens brought to Crawford. Number of ineligible. Oh. Okay. What's that? Glue? Have to wonder what's going on in the rest of the world. Glue could be good. Just a bunch of paste. Actually, that's a good point. And something that a lot of um, zombie media does not explore. Like, zombie outbreaks in other parts of the world let's say like a third world country or um uh a humid country one without seasons because you know some of them they're always like oh you know we go north where it's colder so the zombies will not be able to function but what if it's like a humid forever summer equatorial country or like um maybe archipelagos or things like that that would be interesting you okay clem yeah this desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Oh. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. Yeah, that makes sense. Me too. I used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? Of course. <laughs> no homework. No, you have to give homework. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? No. <sighs> I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Don't don't cling to the past, Clementine. Forge onwards. 
to the future. Because if you're hoping that things will go back to the way it was, you're going to waste a lot of time and energy focusing on what might not be useful. I don't know. I don't know how to make it sound clear, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's kind of like you know, if you're if you're thinking about the past and you think that's the way it's going to go back to, you'll cling to the skills and the mentality of that past. But it would probably be better to move onward and develop future skill sets. All illnesses must be disclosed to the council. Children under fourteen not admitted without authorization. Wait, what? Anyone asked to leave Crawford cannot return under any circumstances. Theft or looting within the district will not be tolerated. Waste not. Make the most of your rations. Very strict. Welcome, citizens. C. Oberson. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. Of course. There's always one, isn't there? So there's zombies in here, aren't there? Two. I can hear them. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You come yes, in yes. or not? I'm coming. That's the playground. We we let them handle that. Locked. Uh, didn't need to use the bathroom anyway. I I didn't want to use the bathroom. I want to see if there's anything inside. <laughs> that would be ooh. I hear something. Logan. Too bad I don't know the combination to any of these. I'm sure there must be a Can't way. Open it without the combination. So these two are doing their thing. Logan's locker. Huh. Ooh. I think it's empty. Ugh, ginger cola. We lock this stuff up somewhere. Eh. Well, ginger ale is nice, but I'm not sure how ginger cola would taste. Uh, we saw those already. Oh, the sounds are coming from here. Anything here? No. All right, let's go. I I don't think we saw anything about Logan. It could be in one of the other rooms, though. This must be the door to the alleyway. Oh, the wait. Is. But where the hell is Molly? Is... Oh, God. I thought the alarm would ring. Molly, you out here? 